Good morning, and welcome once again from uh, New York here at Mount Sinai Heart, uh, recently renamed Mount Sinai Fuster Heart Hospital in honor of our uh, Dr. Valentin Fuster. And we hope you all had a uh, great Halloween and, you know, all that candy is starting to wear off and we can start to get back to work. Uh, and here we are uh, back at Mount Sinai. Today we have Dr. Krishnan and soon to join us will be Dr. Gudra with a really fantastic below the knee uh, um, case involving some orbital atherectomy. So guys, in the lab, let you take it away. I think his mic is off. Oh, my, my mic is off? Uh, One second. There it is. Better. Yep. Can, can you hear me now? Great. We uh, got well, you. Th thanks again, Roman. I mean, again, uh, like you reiterated, uh, or you stated, I'd like to reiterate our, our heartiest congratulations to our, uh, to our, our, our Dr. Fooster for this incredible achievement uh, and this incredible honor uh, to obviously call our, 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 uh, our own Mount Sinai Heart now the Mount Sinai Fooster Heart Hospital, which is really incredible. So we're so happy for Dr. Fooster and so glad to be part of his team. Uh, but uh, now we've got a great case. And of course, you know, as you know, Raman, I mean, New York with traffic, <clears throat> unfortunately, Dr. Guja is just running a few minutes late. He'll be joining us. Um, so we have a great case. Uh, we're very excited to, to, to showcase uh, this case as well as to demonstrate, hopefully, uh, the orbital atherectomy, like you said, in this patient. So without further ado, let me introduce my team. Obviously, Dr. Guja will be here shortly. <laughs> to my right, we have Dr. David Song, uh, who's, our, who's our interventional fellow, endovascular fellow, excuse me, this year. Um, uh, our our um, nurses now are, are Mark, uh, who's behind me, and then, uh, and then Minu, who's actually documenting. And then we've got our text today uh, with both Damien and Habib. And uh, we have a really excellent team, and we're very excited to show you this case. So, David? Good morning, everyone. We have a good case, like everybody said, about a below-the-knee CTO intervention or orbital atherectomy. <coughs> Uh, so this is an 81-year-old gentleman. Uh, he pre presents with bilateral lifestyle limiting claudication that has become progressive to ischemic rest pain, uh, left versus right, with less than one block of activity. He is a polyvasculopath, has uh, had a previous uh, cardiac intervention before, uh, and has had a previous peripheral intervention with a left external iliac stent back in 2020. He has uh, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, and diabetes. He currently continues to smoke. That is something he is currently working actively on to stop, but he is still smoking. He's on good medical therapy. Uh, in terms of his non-invasive uh, vascular diagnostics, uh, we have uh, ABIs that are, uh, you know, one on the right and then 0.76 on the left. There's diminished and monophasic waveforms as we move down the leg. Uh, in terms of arterial duplex, it's from an outside facility, but shows that there is significant uh, below-the-knee disease bilaterally, worse on the left. Uh, we actually have previous diagnostic angiograms. Uh, in terms of the aortic ileogram, it shows it's a very calcified, torturous um, bifurcation that we have, and the left internal external iliac stent, I'm sorry, is actually still patent. In terms of the left runoff, there's diffuse calcified left SFA disease uh, with a uh, distal popliteal artery total occlusion. There's actually, in terms of magnifying that area up, there's a significant collateral from that distal popliteal artery that essentially supplies the entire lower extremity, uh, including the distal runoff vessels. Uh, this is just a more distal shot of the collateral, reconstituting the peroneal artery and also distally in the foot. So in terms of our case plan, our access is going to be contralateral right femoral access, long sheath. Uh, We're going to attempt left pedal access with uh, orbital atherectomy and potential PTA. So Roman, uh, you know, we obviously he's an elderly gentleman with rest pain, so we just took selective shots of below the knee. Uh, and you can see here, we didn't show you the, uh, the foot very well the, uh, with, the, uh, with our diagnostics that we did. But you can see he has a PT and AT in the perineal. But, you know, with that occlusion and his, his ankle pressures are around 80, uh, you know, to me, uh, you know, it's no reason. Uh, that's probably the reason he is in rest pain. He has a very large perineal. He has a great uh, DP coming up. But if you look at, if you look at, I think I took a shot. Uh, no, I did not. Did I? I don't know. Yeah, so uh, if you look at, oh, can I play this? How do I play this? Uh, do I hit this button? Yeah, so I just we took, we took a catheter down and probed. 
And I think this is what we all do to cross these lesions and really trying to find out where the osteum of that popliteal is. And you can see that it's kind of stuck somewhere. There may be some mm -hmm. sort of little nubbin, but, but this is really his bypass. And I think you got to be really careful about knocking this off. Not that we'll knock it off. God forbid we do dissect it. We'll probably just put a, do something to it just to stabilize it. But and this is the kind of case where you'd want both pedal and above access. Um, so, you know, Dr. Guja is going to come. He wants to do the, um, the ultrasound guided, uh, uh, perineal access. So in the meantime, I just wanted to kind of talk to you, get your thoughts on some wires that you would choose if you're coming from above. Obviously, I think the basics are, you know, get the, um, the, the angle catheter here, get a penetrating tip wire. We've chosen a confianza here, but obviously you might have something different that you might try first. I didn't want to go with a <coughs> glide-coated wire or a, how should you say, a hydrophilic wire because of the fact that obviously, you know, it's going to slip right into the collateral. We're not going to have any penetration. So it's just going to, so that's what we chose a confianza. Obviously, everybody has their different choices. Would yeah, you, I mean, you this is, this you, is uh, I've, I wouldn't have uh, made really any different decision point up until now. I think uh, this this collateral, as important as it is, it's actually as in a very challenging position. Yep. Uh, because uh, it really is kind of like um, this has like coalesced with the actual cap. So I think and if, you know I think uh, everyone else can can do these cases in in a different ways, but I think it's important to take away that the the initial wire choice here it really needs to be a a very good one because penetrating this this distal cap is kind of going to be the entire case. Because if we create a dissection that's going to involve this, this, this collateral up, up, uh, up front early on, it's going to lead yep. to, to a lot of downstream issues. So I think going with a with a high tip load CTO uh, design wire, not our you fielder and fielder XTs, cabinet. but you know like a Confianza, if we need, need to even and a Stato even. I think also to the, taking the orthogonal views to see if maybe there is some some, some 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 cap somewhere that maybe if we. Okay. Oh, that, that, that's the, something. Uh, yep, that's something we off. didn't do. I think we'll do that. In the meantime, we'll just. I'm just gonna probe it because sometimes we get lucky yeah. and we pop into something yeah. and we prevent getting pedal access. So I'll do an orthogonal view here while we wait for Dr. Guja. Yeah. Let me uh, see. You can see the calcium there. Yeah. Um, I don't know how it shows. Let me do a put put me on non DSA. So I'll, I just want to show the audience like the calcification and try to understand you know how we can find the cap. Obviously, most of our audience is uh, you know very experienced interventionalist. But just to try to see, this is not a good way, but you can see there's not something helpful. posterior. No. You see, see watch it fill there's up a little the little layering right yeah, there. That guy. So that might be it. Let me just go a little bit further here. Yeah, it almost goes to like 90, you, you may it's see It's hard it. to do, as you know. <clears throat> it's just so hard to do. There it is. See, there posterior? It is. Yep. So that may be our cap here. So what I'm going to do is just kind of torque it in and keep our, our, uh, our, um, our uh, what is it called, our injector or our syringe on and try to just pop it in there. There we go. See? So now I'm kind of there. So now what I'm going to do is ask David to hold pressure with my catheter here. And you could take a stiff angle glide. I mean, you could. But here I would probably go with an Ashtado 30. You guys, give me an Ashtado 30. Hold it there, David. Yep. Okay, let me just do a roadmap just to hold it there. Could we move the second screen? I think that that would be – that's, that's uh, you know, as, as much as I, I've, I really like that wire and, and system for long SFA CTOs, I think for, for this, this, this short occlusion where you have such a – you know, uh, physiologically and hemodynamically significant collateral. I think I, I'd be pretty wary to to jump to the uh, the uh, stiff glide at this point. Yeah, I agree. I agree <laughs> with you, and I, I think that's why I go with a really strong yeah. O1A catheter like the Astato 30, and I think the Astato 30 will help us. So just to penetrate, once we penetrate, we'll switch for an O1A system, um, and then do. I mean, obviously the I could have gone with the uh, the um, uh, Confianza and then gone to the 30, but I figured. You know, let's try to just go with the just go with the real one because my threshold for going pedal is going to be very low here, <clears throat> because I really don't want to um, knock off this uh, collateral and waste too much time. Uh, Damien, I may need a uh, torker, uh, <coughs> a torker. It should be on the on the Confianza. So I am going with the start of 30 here, and of course, you know, you know how that is. They always move, hmm. and uh, especially in the live case. So let's see, hopefully it just pops in. Going really slow here. There is the wire coming. So I'm at the cap now. Hopefully it'll it'll find a way in. There you go. Well, it went somewhere. I don't know if we're in a good spot here, but I'm going to let it go. It could just be, you know, a lot of times in these kind of things, you have it's a hibernating. Like hibernating vessel, yeah. 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 And also we're in, a, we're, in a, we're in an odd view <coughs> here, right? So let's let it go a little bit. Now I'm going to come off this. 
and then I'm going to go to the other view. Watch out. Watch, watch your knees, yep. David. So now it doesn't look very promising here. <laughs> so let's see. <clears throat> so let's do another quick de- uh, uh, roadmap just to give us an idea. So, you know, uh, and there's the problem with everything. <coughs> you'll always go to the area of least uh, resistance. And uh, we might have gotten into a, a hibernating collateral or, oh, we may be pretty good there. No, no, no. I like I it. Know. It's Look even making, it's, it's making the turn. It's now, a, a, an, an, another question is that, you know, I've, I know you like the, to work with the 035 system up front, but what's your opinions on instead of going with an 035, maybe going with an 018 angled catheter as opposed to, to this? You know, you know, it's funny because I, you know, I dislike angled catheters. I always have other than the 035. So, you know, to me, I've always felt that, you know, the 018 angled catheters bias you towards one way or the other. And then you get in trouble. I kind of I like using the tip of my wire and the catheter has more support than anything. So it looks like we have crossed here. That's very nice. So we've that's we actually we don't now Dr. Guja is going to be very upset with me. <laughs> thank you, Raman. Thank you, Raman. Thank you, Raman. I want to thank you for this. But uh, so anyway, we have made it look easy. Luckily, as you know, this is uh, you can never predict on these <laughs> kind of lesions on how to get through. So now I'm going to ask, try to see whether I can squeeze this in. And hopefully I can get this in. This may be asking too much of this 035 catheter. Bulky catheter, in. yeah. Yeah. No, it's not going. So, Dame, I'm yeah. going to need an ONA trailblazer. So I'm going to just walk this out. <coughs> ONA trailblazer, guys. So, so again, so maybe can you go over some of the wires um, that, say, an escalation technique? Obviously, we went with ONA quickly. Would you have gone with ONA? Would you, is there any particular ONA wire you like in your experience in wow. terms of what you like? Thank you. In terms of what you like to use? And then, and then we can we can t- uh, talk a little bit about wire technology and what we like. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I, for myself, I think it's more about uh, I've, I tend to fall back on a lot of my coronary um, wire escalation techniques. Mm-hmm. So I find myself kind of making the exact transition that you did. Um, uh, so, 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 talk to us about that. Yeah, talk yeah. to us about when you go with the, uh, you know, the Miracle Brothers are there. There's yeah. so many coronary wires that are in these labs. So, I'm curious on how you choose. Obviously, our lab, we're blessed. We got everything, but yeah. a lot of people don't. So, I'm just curious on what 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 your thoughts are, and I'll give you. Typically, mine. typically, what I what I do is that I'll, you know, it, it kind of depends on the what the what the cap looks like. I think for this well, particular you, lesion, you, I, I, I would have gone with with the same uh, confianza to begin with, and go to a side of twenty, a side of thirty. Okay. Usually, if I find myself escalating, I would probably have shifted from the 035 catheter to an 018 catheter, just because my if the wire, which is like you know, an, an an 018 or 014, it's not having an easy time crossing. An 035 catheter is probably also going to have a pretty tough time. But usually then I've started to kind of adopt some of the techniques I've learned actually from you is that once, once you've passed, once you go Mm -hmm. and you do your, your up to your Mm -hmm. 018 or your Asado thirties, and those are not crossing, then to kind of go back and maybe try something different that you didn't try yet. You know, go, maybe go with your fielder, um, the the, the Terumo gold wire is a good one. Every now and then, depending on, on how many times we have crossed through a dissection plane and what I've made, I sometimes may actually try a fielder XT, uh, which has given me a variable response. And you can use a Mongo in, in place of that, too. Yeah, so can you talk about the Mongo for me? Because I know that this is a, a coronary wire that our, our colleagues, Dr. Sean yeah, and Dr. Kinney, use a lot of. Um, I'm just curious about that wire because a lot of people are speaking about it now in the conferences. Hold on a second. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's a really it's a really good wire because it's it's really good for when you're trying to go for like um, your your transeptal collaterals to do uh, retrograde CTO interventions. Uh, uh-huh. It's a very very it has a pretty pretty uh, strong body, but a very okay. soft um, tapered tip that kind of helps this this wire navigate. It's a very long um, lesions through very torturous uh, septal collaterals. Um, it's a really, it's, it's, it's a good wire. Um, I don't find myself rushing towards it in the periphery very often. Uh, I think I had to find myself a little more comfortable with the Fielder XT. Generally, again, not necessarily made for the same purpose, but uh, I, f- I feel as if the coronary circulation and collateral source circulation requires a few more technically advanced wires, uh, which the Mongo has wow. been able to really uh, provide. But the Fielder XT, I think for the majority of our cases for any of these you know, very tiny, tiny, tiny uh, dissection, uh, you know, fenestrations that we're trying to get through usually does do the trick. Um, so, so is that is that mostly below the knee, <laughs> above the knee? Because I think a lot of times, 
<clears throat> our thoughts here, especially, we're very aggressive with 035 systems above the knee and generally tend to go with 018 systems, uh, 014 systems below the knee. So, you know, uh, you know, I've always been like, hey, you know, there's no benefit uh, to us uh, getting through, you know, uh, keeping intraluminal. There's no data that suggests that it's better with DCB. Obviously, it shows whether you're subintimal or, or, or not. You still have good patency. <laughs> so below the knee is where I get concerned. So in the above the knee, let's talk a little bit about above the knee. Um, uh, do you use 014 above the knee? Don't you use 014 above the knee? Do you use 018 and so on and so forth? Yeah, I mean, generally for the CTOs, it's you stick with the 035 oh, stiff, stiff, stiff glide system. You just, just start with that. It's 014. And then depending on whether it's a distal cap issue or so, I have pretty much near 100% success then switching from the 035 to a CTO Compienza, a Stato, a, you have a cook? Stato 30 wire or, or something along those lines. I rarely up front, I think keeping with the same teaching, uh, ra rarely up front begin with a, um, a 014, 018 system. Good morning, yeah. Mama. So Dr. Morning. Kush has arrived. So, so, so question now is, um, so we're, we're trying, thank you, the, Damien's right. I thought this was an 014 system. I just hadn't wet my wire. Dr. Sharma would have smacked me if I was doing a coronary. But yeah, uh, yeah so, so what happened here is, so now we are going, Karthik has arrived. So Karthik, we're able to get an 018, um, um, the uh, Ashtado 30 across the lesion. So I don't think we'll need fetal access at this stage, but we're prepped, obviously, as you can see. So the wire, the wire is distal, and I, we're just having trouble crossing the, the CTO, CTO cap. Plan, yeah. So the CTO cap the is CTO. at the level of the, uh, no, it's the level of the, uh, of the uh, tibial um, uh, ta uh, uh, condyle. I got it. Yep, you can go. So you can see here that uh, let's see if it crosses. Yep, no, it's not crossing. No. All right, we're gonna need a a, 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 a balloon, guys. Uh, you know what? Uh, Hold on a second. Maybe we're gonna have to do a, use a you change corner the balloon. For a while and then... Yeah, I just don't want to lose this wire position. <clears throat> I just Probably get the wire a, a little bit further too, no? No, there's a second occlusion, remember? Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. So there's a second occlusion. I don't want to go with this really difficult wire into that second occlusion. We could, but I just want to see. Want me to see if I can push it a little bit? Yeah, well, you can try, but it's not going. Okay, sir, hang on. Go ahead. Uh -huh. This actually may be a good time to maybe load up, you know, take out your uh, your catheter and then go with a, um, a Godzilla to get some more proximal support to help you push the uh, the catheter through. Yeah, but you see, I, I think you're absolutely right there, but I just think that at this stage, it's just, you know, I think a balloon maybe of that proximal area might be better, or we can switch for a 014 wire. I just don't want to give up my wire position, as yeah. you can imagine, you yeah, know? Yeah, so yeah. so let's let's give me a 018. Oh, it looks like the wire jumped for us. Can, I guess they're turning off the lights. They want us to go to sleep. Uh, can I have an 018 um, um, balloon? Um, what do you have the 018 <coughs> balloon? Is it a, do you have that? Um, BD balloon? No, you can. Uh, Highlander. Highlander, just, thank you. We just maybe balloon the Very short balloon. Uh, maybe yeah. just balloon the proc. It looks like the wire is going nice for us now. Yeah. Might be able to get a little more wire purchase, but I wouldn't go blind, of course. Yeah. But the other um, thing about this, so this whole wire choice discussion we, we, were, we were talking about, I would feel as if the only time we're up front going with these more complex, you know, these more complex wire yeah. choices, a Mongo and Fielder XT. Repeatal interventions probably will universally go with you have, those. You have a 20? Confident. 20. We have no 018 balloons that are short? You, you, you think no, I don't want to go distal with this one. No, what I'm saying is, you think we can't just get an 014 wire down? No, I didn't want to take a chance because it was, you know, we cross nicely. I want to do CSI. I don't want to dissect. So it just went really, really smooth. We don't, huh? We don't have. Uh, do you have a, do you give us, uh, do you have any short 018 do you balloons have a or no? Balloon, 018? Huh? Uh, give me a 20 or a 40. We have no short open a balloons. No, we have a Bart balloon, which is it's 120. We have. We three have what? 20. Give give three it. 20 three or 40. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. It's an open. So we've got a 3040. Obviously, it's not the smallest balloon. So we'll we're get gonna, a channel. We're gonna too. go with this and hopefully balloon the proximal, and then we'll be able to get more pushability. Like and the previous, the previous uh, catheter you were just trying to use was the CXI. Hey, Habib. No, we tried Habib. the Terumo, the Navicross 018. So if that What's doesn't go, you know, you know, oh, it's kind of yeah, depressing. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of depressing where we are. So we're gonna go with the 30 here, um, and then we're gonna go with the 30120. Uh, let's see. I, mean, I don't know where your wire is, but it looks somewhere good. No, I don't like the bend. The bend is not yeah. good. So I'm just gonna hold it there. There it is. 
the bend I know, because remember, Brillot knee was a weird uh, so, uh, sort of reconstitution. So I want to be a little careful here. So I'm just holding. Uh huh. Looks like this is even, there it goes. A little, come on, Highlander, give us a little bit of love. There it goes, yeah, nice. Look at so that. the 3 BD you, you balloon worked? Right yeah, I think we're going to balloon this here. So I'm just going to pull this back. And we have a little collateral, but this 3 balloon shouldn't affect that. So give us a... So then we're going to, once we cross this, our next step, uh, uh, Raman, is going to be... One second, I got the I got, Let me use yeah. it. Come forward here. Our next step is going to be to take care of the, uh, the cross the second lesion. Yep, go up. And again, Raman, this is a good question for you and Karthik, I guess, for, for the audience. So don't keep going up. Yeah, Nominal go. Nominal is six. Nominal is six. Go to six. Yep, that's six. Okay, yeah, that's six. Leave it up for a little bit. Yep. So the question here is, okay, now you saw it. Let me show Raman the distal runoff here. So the distal runoff, you have, um, you, have you can see how calcified everything else. So you, you have it, sure, you have a, this is our, our popliteal occlusion here, you'll see it. So this is the popliteal right here, and you can see that's a collateral, and you can see the runoff starts again with the perineal there, and that's where we're kind of, I think we probably did cross, you're right, Raman. And then over here, you see the perineal bronze, it gives rise to anterior communicating, posterior communicating, both giving rise yeah, to our AT bus. and the PT. So the question here, I thought, since the guy's only with rest pain, just open the perineal and I we're done, so. right? Yeah, so. you, you, would you guys go after the AT of the PT? No, I'm not. Go a without, with, without a wound, I don't think so. Eight, okay, uh, okay. Would Down? Not because the, the, the perineal is pretty robust, right? It is yeah, very so robust. And it's, and it's feeding everything. It's, it's feeding uh, everything. PSA? PSA? You want to go a little bit lower? No, let's just take a picture here. We have, we have, so he has, can uh, see the perineal also. PSA. Oh, no, I just wanted to make sure this. Oh, yeah, that's, that makes sense. Yeah. There you go. So, so I'm just going to shut her in a little bit. still a waste in the balloon. Yeah, I know. I agree. Yeah. It was. So here is the flow. Hopefully we have good flow. Reasonable flow. A little waste in the balloon, as Karthik said. See? It didn't make that turn. You see that, Roman? That's I what think, I was worried I about. we can get it you close know? to that. O o one four catheter and then O-1-8 catheter and we can use a... The question is, is it going into the DP? To... Maybe it's going into the DP, but I, PT, I think, at this, yeah. I think yeah. at this stage we should just change this out. So go, go down a little bit. Balloon. Go down a little, little bit with the balloon. I think that's your AT right there. Well, we don't know. I think it could it went be. Into the AT, go, like. go a little further. A little further. A little further. A little further. Okay, good. Now we're definitely in the right vessel. So now give us give us a confianza now, guys. Yep. You want to take confianza because I think. Or give us a the command then. Give us a command. Here and see if we can. So we're gonna take an injection through the balloon. If and then decide the channel, on the command. You know, we can just wire it the well, the worry is, is it a, is it a, uh, is it a collateral or a channel? That's what I worry about, because this guy obviously, this is all nothing is acute here. It's all chronic, and uh, the issue just becomes, what are we dealing with? So let me just show you here. Oh, a little movement. Yeah, it looks like channel. No? So I think that is the AT. So let's get into this first with the command. Okay. So give me the, the command, perineal. and then we'll balloon the perineal, and then decide whether we. I think I agree with you guys that we just leave the AT alone unless or the wire, the the wire just slips. And I like command. Command, command is a great, is great wire. I think it will make that back. Yeah, the wire introduces right here. Okay. So guys, get us an IVUS, and then we'll decide on the CSI uh, sizing, and then we'll decide what to do. So uh, as you all know, just a, a little uh, question to both of you. What is your thought on Ag Abbott's acquisition of CSI? Uh, you know, obviously we've never been a big CSI lab because we just haven't. Um, and the, and the point is, just curious on what do you think? You think it's a good choice for Abbott to get CSI? I not, so. as I you think, know. I think it's a great choice for it. They yeah. didn't have an atherectomy device before. Right. Now they have it. Right. So I think all they have to do is acquire. Well, a well, now they have Life BTK, right? No, they 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 have the cervix that mm. they're using, and now Life BTK. So any thoughts on obviously the trial um, and 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 how that's going to impl impl implicate in your practice, Raman or, or Karthik? I mean, I, have, I mean, as of now, unless there is a robust data on Life BTK, um, I don't know. Well, no, the paper it. was just published. I know. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, yeah, once. I mean, I, I think it was a it was a proof of concept uh, study that that showed that there is evidence of, of this uh, bioabsorbable scaffold system that is going to actually be, you know, having some meaningful improvement in below knee disease, you know, and I think it's beginning to, to show that there are, as long as we continue to ask the right questions and use the right systems, 
that there is a good chance that we're going to finally have an impact on the below the knee process. Because right now we we really haven't. I think this this is a trial that was it was it was well designed. It was multi centered, and I think it, it definitely showed that that there was. And there is, you know, some some mm -hmm. hope in the future for for true baloney, um, baloney uh, interventions and actual outcomes. Yes. Uh -huh. um, I think, though, regarding your question about uh, Abbott and CSI, I think the problem is that you know they uh, took a a uh, a device that I think is has a pretty high high learning curve. When a lot of people also have other atherectomy devices that they use more more often, you know, as we said ourselves, we have everything in our armamentorium, including the the uh, the OA, but it's not one that we routinely go towards. I think right, the problem right. that we don't see in the coronaries as often, uh, we see a lot more in the in the periphery, is based off of the size of, of the crowns, uh, despite mm -hmm. what we use, even or even with the filter that, that comes with their their wires and everything. There's still a lot of of embolization. Um, yeah. You know, that's and I think uh, when you're working in cases like this where you have one major you know, tibial vessel runoff down to to the foot, embolization is a big, big, big deal. I agree. Yeah. I agree. And I think I think the runs are going to be very slow. Yeah. I think a lot of stuff. I mean, we'll do IVIS and we'll decide, obviously. But you know, this is something that you have to be very, very cognizant of. And uh, it looks yeah. like this is an issue here. Probably we might have to go deal. to another, another, another view oh, no. here. <coughs> I bet you if we go to another view, we're going to see something. Watch your knees, uh, Karthik. Yeah. Oops, I hit myself oh, there. Yourself, yeah, I know, both of us, right? Oh. Okay, let's do, uh, let's see, let's give a little roadmap here. So we have another significant short CTO, which is, again, I don't want to dissect it, because I, I really want to do CSI and leave it with a nice balloon here. To try to get through. I think there's a short CTO there. Looks uh, like a short a CTO, as you can see there. So let's see whether we get through this. No, that's not good. That pull is back not the good. Balloon a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. That's better. Now that we're in the wrong area. But that's still at least a little better than where we want to be. Uh, that bend will be a. That bend is going to be a killer. So, so why don't we just what we let me try to let me try to balloon the ostium and then we'll try no, to. No, no, no. What we should do is, uh, we, I think we should take a super cross. What do you think, uh, Raman? Super cross will make that bend. Yeah, there's It'll no reason to go that crazy. I think we just balloon the ostium. You're not going to close it. Four catheter. No, but you're not going to close so it. So if you dissect that, I don't um, think you're going to. You can't make that bend. It'll be a problem, right? If you're in the collateral already. No, you're not I mean, in the you guys have you you guys have have other crossing catheters as it is. You mean, you no, no, the bend is what uh, that's uh, almost like a 90 degree bend, right? I, I mean, yeah, no, we can go so, with the super cross, but I don't think it's. I think you just balloon this segment, you'll be fine. Watch this. Yeah, it's not going any further. <clears throat> a little more? Nope, it's not going. Yeah, because that, that that initial angiogram you had through no, the no, actual no. balloon did through. show that there was a a tiny channel I think there. You're in the right I think I'm in the right spot. Why don't you think I'm in the right spot? Now I'm not. I was. <laughs> I was in the right spot. Let's try again here. We'll figure it out. All right. Maybe this is why we got to get pedal access, which is fine with me. You know, now I think we've spoiled our, our track here. Okay. There you go. Now I'm definitely in the right spot. But why are you not going forward? Like you well, we were. Vessel, we like... were before. Hmm. But you know what? I don't think I'm in the wrong spot, though. Pull I, the wire back and see if I'm going it. to, yeah. I think, you know what? We need to get a, a, a crossing catheter yeah. here. Yeah. Give us a crossing catheter. Yeah, give us a... There you go. Okay. Let's see. A what? I don't, need, I, don't, I don't think you need a super cross. I mean, you can use it. I don't care. It's just you guys yeah, so like to your, your spend a lot of money. Uh, I, 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 think all, all, I think all you need to do is just go with a regular. We're definitely in the vessel. We just need to go with a. 014. Uh, just a 014 with an angle, whatever, like uh, Roman wants, um, uh, the, the angle catheter. The angle, we have an 014. See, now angle, you agree uh, we're in the right spot? Yeah. yeah. Yes, I mean, you, I just, you, you, you have one. You have uh, the. Uh, you know what? Get us cross. the twin pass. Get us the twin pass. twin pass. Don't you like the twin pass ramen here? You just talked about expense. The twin <laughs> pass is expensive? <laughs> I don't know how expensive Super the twin pass is. pretty much the same. No, <laughs> twin pass is like, what, $40? Right? No, I, I don't know about 40 <laughs> but I mean, my God. <laughs> Come on. Maybe, you know, you, you know yeah, how well, Dr. If you use you know, it, reuse it. <laughs> Autoclave it, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give, uh, give, uh, give us a, a twin pass or, or a super cross, whatever these guys want. Yeah, I mean, for for, for, for this, I would just angle. use uh, the the navicross that you already had it had it open. Yep. 
There's a D there. I, I, I don't think there's a D. I just think it's just uh, it's all thrombotic <laughs> stuff there. So give us a, uh, uh, give us a, uh, a, a what do they call it, a super course. If you have it, uh, give it to us. Give an angulated one. I mean, I don't want an angled one. Just give us a twin pass. <laughs> I mean, twin pass is so easy. You maintain wire position and you just wire it. All right. There you go. So for those, uh, Brahman, maybe you can explain the twin pass to everybody at home. This is where yeah. we're demonstrating some new catheters here. Yeah, so the twin pass is a dual lumen catheter that allows uh -huh. you to wire and most often inject drugs simultaneously is what we most often use it for, the second lumen, uh, which is, you know, so there is a short, that is a monorail segment where you load your initial wire on. There's a Omen 4 uh, capabilities mm -hmm. and the uh, over the wire segment of it, which is the way how we're going to be using it here. Um, it's a, uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's, you know, for all our coronary interventions, it's, it's not the most common way that we use the, uh, the device. Um, but, uh, you know, you Give do, me a do unique guys. things, you do unique things, you do things in a unique way. Well, you know, peripheral, I think that's part of the advantage of yeah. knowing the coronary armamentarium and all that. You could just, you could just use this to cross, just use a field of wire to cross in and then we'll decide. So can you talk about where the lumen is, uh, Raman, for everybody? Right yeah, there. so that, that first dot is where the end of the short monorail system is, where you load your initial wire. That second dot is right, um, is it right in front or right behind? Right I think it's, it's right, right, right yeah, in. Right. No, yeah. no, no, well, right in front, as in more distal, more more proximal to the. Um, if you put an angle, it more comes more off, more proximal to the actual. Because we made an uh, angle yeah. ourselves yeah. without just pulling it out. That's okay. that's where the the wire is going to be coming out. And I think we made a pretty good angle. David pulled it out pretty violently because you know he's he's working out, <laughs> and, and and so you know he made a very nice angle. So yeah, you're going to have to now push this catheter down a little bit because you'll see where it comes out see let's go a little bit forward now and then there so at see? this point so yeah pull, pull, pull back now and no, go no, a little no, bit even further. a little bit further, <laughs> further yep yeah. and now you'll just wire it right there so what That's may happen up. you may have a Keep little bit more. of a challenge actually sending go. the wire out with your monorail wire in agreed yeah so you may Agreed. you may need to pull that that one yep. back. Which, which, now well, the challenge well, is that you're going to lose wire position if you pull it yeah, all the way exactly. back up your monorail system. Well, um, let's see, bro. So the the point here is so, what I would do is I would push further down, right? Because yeah, now I would target. Yeah. So you see, so you're down. you're you're exiting proximal to the to that that uh, dot. You're right. I think, so, so let's I think pull the torquing... monorail wire back. <clears throat> so pull back now. Pull back. I wouldn't the... pull back too much though. Cause I think what what's what's okay, what's, now, what's now, oh like that. Now come come forward. And I pull the catheter back. <coughs> it's not dropping. It's, hard. it's, it's hard. not going to so, drop. It's not going to drop. The angle well, is not. Uh, it'll work. I think we just got to. I think. So remember the 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 exit port of the over the wire the system up. is on a single side. Right. right. So yes, we'll have to torque exactly. the actual catheter to have that side I, face. I, I the did, uh, uh, Raman, but it's just uh, it's so tight there. Now, now it'll fall in. Oh. So it, see, my theory is always like this, Ram. When you cross once, you can always cross again. No, no, no. Don't push blind now. No, You're no, pushing no, blind. No. You are. There's no wire in the front of you. And uh, once it goes through that small channel, right, you lose the curve on the on any any wire you put here. So if I, if it's, let, me, let me give it, it a shot. It'll be it. very tough. Yeah. We might. I think. I think. I hate to admit it, but car thing's right as always, huh? Yeah, because you, the, the, the lumen is so small that you can wire it, but you just lose the, the curve on any wire you put. Yep, uh, I agree. Yeah, I mean, I, I think right now the focus should be on torquing the actual full catheter system about uh, yep. like yeah, 80, I, 90 actually, degrees. I, I did actually completely on uh, 90 so that the lumen can change. I'm torquing now, Roman. Yeah. But uh, the problem is your wire lost its curve. And I'll, I'll remember, like all, all that rotational uh, force is not going to translate all the way down. Yeah, I mean, the twin pass was never meant for this, right? It was never yeah. meant to just wire simultaneously. It was, it was meant mainly. Oh, oh, my yeah, God. I, I, I got, I got, I, you know, the old man still got some tricks, Robert. You know, old man still got some tricks. You know, you guys always forget about the old man, you know? Mark was rooting for me, I know. All right, here we go. Uh, so, all right, like we got it. through now. So now, no, um, this 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 is a very very good point because I can I, I can promise you that there's very few people who use the twin pass in in this way, you know it was it, it was a part of the design process was was to do things like this yeah. but it was has been ad adopted by 
the majority of the interventionalists as a delivery system where you can deliver drugs I got it. <clears throat> and All right, so at now, the same time. So, so Raman, now we're through. Now I'm going to do an IVIS. Yeah. So, so let's give an IVIS, and we're gonna, and then we're gonna get the CSI ready. So, guys, I mean, obviously, you know, like I admitted to everybody, we're not a huge CSI lab. So the perspective here is, how do you size the CSI? Um, and and you know, any thoughts um, on you guys? We're gonna have the avid uh, folk uh, help us where... with uh, sizing yeah. of the CSI to give us an idea. Yeah. I think the one issue that we have here is that you already ballooned that uh, that that pop segment. And right. I think if there are any amount of dissections, then CSI is off the off the table. I don't think we'll have a dissection because no, we were undersized okay. pretty good. Yeah. Let's see. You're right. I, that's why we're ivising. But we definitely undersized it significantly. Yeah, let's do the ivis here. You can see the calcium is definitely calcified. We have our, our ivis team here, which really helps us to decide what size CSI to use. And then we'll go close. And I think especially we'll for that PP trunk, trunk exactly. That's what I, I want to use. Help it for. a lot. Exactly. Five, uh, probably will help. Well, again, you, you know, it's uh, you guys have used a lot more CSI than I have. I've, uh, you know, so I'm learning as I go here. So here's uh, Dr. Guja going down. Okay, now we're in the PT. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do the PT. And so guys, let's do a Ivis pullback now, and uh, just very slowly. <laughs> so this is in the posterior tibial, coming up very slowly. You can see we're intraluminal here. Here we go, severe calcium, concentric calcium. And then at this level, again, we're intraluminal, intraluminal, intraluminal. Again, intraluminal, intraluminal with severe calcium, severe calcium, all severe calcium, like Karthik said. And then again, over here, just a lot of plaque with calcium. Yeah, exactly. And, it's all and just a lot of plaque. A lot of plaque completely with intraluminal calcium. all throughout. So far. Yeah. And then coming up. So I'm, you know, I would like to do just a simple, quick run. You can see the calcium yeah. rum in there. Even here, it's we're all like intraluminal, intraluminal here, all just plaque with calcium, and then and then we're gonna come all the way up. Yeah. So I'm gonna undersize my know. burr. Here, what do you think? That's the collateral. That's, that's a collateral. You know, what I'm saying is like right. We'll here. avoid that spot. Yeah. Yeah. That looks more like a dissection. dissection. We'll avoid that spot there, there. and, and then we'll go back. Plane, so, yeah. so, we'll, so we'll start at the level of the mid uh, mid tibial tuberosity. Um, or Top the so, so CSI sizing, uh, where's our Abbott people? I think they ran away. We need to change it to... Uh, where's, where's our Abbott people? Anybody wrong? we got to change the wire. Yeah. Give us an Major. 8 uh, Trailblazer. If you're going to be okay. doing this for this and, and the uh, the TPT and the, the perineal, I'll probably use huh? a 125. Yeah, we're, we're going to go with a 125 solid. Is that the smallest one you have? Ah, okay. No, there's a smaller than that. But there's a smaller one. No, no, that's the coronary well, one. Let's give us the micro but one. The, the micro one yeah. is smaller. We're going to do the, the micro one. one, is, uh, one two, five yeah. Is the smallest. yeah, let's go with the micro one. I think I, I think a 125 solid would, per, would probably be good for for that for that the, yeah a 125 right. solid. So let's go with a 125 one, solid. solid. Yeah. One, two, give us a, a viper wire, please here. So again, guys, with CSI, very short runs. Uh, you know, lots of fluid, uh, lots of vasodilators, prep the distal bed, uh, and just do a very, very short run. So obviously, we, we're going to avoid the proximal dissection plane. I think IVIS really helps you uh, to, to be able to uh, do this properly to avoid the dissection area. So we decided to go with a 125 solid. I'm just going to do it just from the distal uh, tibial tu tuberosity. I'm going to avoid that first bend there because I think it's too much of a bend. Um, and just and just get through. So go go down now. There you go. That's calcium right there all the way down. So now we're going to get the CSI oh, wire. More, more, more. So we're going to get the CSI wire here. Good. Very good. So that's plenty. Get us, a, get us the Viper wire, guys. I'm going to give a little bit of nitro. Yeah, give nitro and all yeah, exactly. that. So that even if you embolize a little bit, it's still okay. Yep. And whatever you have is fine. Raman, as you said, I'm just giving, uh, prophylactically, we are giving a little bit of vasodilator. What's up? You got the other wire? Okay, good. Yeah, case. that makes sense. <laughs> so, so, Raman, you want to talk a little bit about these wires that they give us, these Viper wires? Are obviously, the new ones are very torqueable compared to the older ones I used to use. So... Uh, yeah, so we they have, have. I mean, the the most important thing is that you have to just make sure you choose the right wire and the right the right device length. You know, they're uh, all the boxes look the same. All the sizes on the inside are different. 
the coronary, the radial, the, the, the peripheral, they're all, the, <laughs> the packaging is the exact same, except there is a small, small fine print, which is what you have to use to, to differentiate them all. That's one, two, five, um, the, uh, yeah, the wire itself is, is, yeah. is a, is a dedicated wire that's, uh, is made for this actual, actual device, one, two, um, five, is a yeah. pretty stiff yeah. body yeah. with a short, um, with a, uh, short, uh, non tapered tip. Okay, there good. is one that actually has a tapered tip as well, should you be choosing to use it with a, um, uh, with a filter, which I was just going to suggest may not be a bad idea for this single vessel runoff. So give us an uh, Ambo Shield, 2 4 Ambo Shield. Uh, but it, it depends on which, which wire you have here, because if you don't have the one that has uh, the, the 017 tip, then it's not going to work. We do, I um, think we, I did, I, I have the one with a little dot. I have uh, the one with a little uh, with nubbin. We'll take a look right now. You know, you know me, my English is not my first language, you know that. So, so go down a little bit, go push it down. There you go. Perfect. So this is the right wire for the Embo Shield, guys? The first one the that they handed us. Is, uh, is oh, the first one they handed us. All right, give us the 017. Let's do it with the Embo Shield. I like that idea. Yep. Yeah, I think so. In this case, we should. You gave some nit uh, nitro? Yeah. Excellent. You gave some nit just. <clears throat> Yep, I can confirm with 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 the uh, with the nursing is that what's what's running in in the bag? Right now yes. we haven't we haven't gotten anything. We just go slowly. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm saying yeah, the, the other the, side. Which uh, yeah, this is what I'm getting. Yep, I'm getting you this side here. Yeah. There you go. So so we are now giving the 017, and I guess the education for everybody is that when you use the Ambush Shield, you have to have the stop the stop dot at the end of the wire so that the Ambush Shield doesn't go flying. That is in the 017 the wire uh, that we've been handed. So we're going with that. So this way, and Karthik will feel it on his fingers just to make sure that it's there, and That's then it. we'll load the Ambush Shield distal to this to prevent any significant embolization. This is something that we've, uh, you know, the Ember Shield has been studied um, with, uh, at least with us in our, in our uh, device, in our um, uh, algorithm for um, uh, filter use, uh, where the Ember Shield did not retract back with both the jet stream um, and, the, and the CSI. So, they're, they're, so we got the wire distal now. Dr. Guja is going to walk this back. Now we're going to load the filter. It's the same thing. We're going to remove the bare wire from the filter. Just, I mean, the, the wire from the filter, just as we do with the bare wire. We're going to take it down, and then we're going to use the Ambo shield with that. And what size are we going with for the Ambo? Two four. Two four. Uh, it's, 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 it's very, very, very important degree, degree. to remember. Very, very important to remember. I want to be very clear to everybody at home that Abbott does not endorse this. They're against it. They're all shaking their head right now because they're like it's off label. And I, no, because they they I, I they actually would, they they would like us to use because they they have a a uh, a filter wire system. Um, uh, I'm not sure if I'm not sure if you guys if we still have it on the shelves here, but they have a dedicated uh, filter wire system that has its own retrieval device. Um, I, the few times that I used it was okay. The problem is that the the capturing system is a little bit. Uh, funky, you can say. Yep, yep. Which is so not something gonna... that you want after a complex case. <laughs> well, we're just going to, like you said, it's the same thing like the rotor wire here. You can't bend this. You have to keep it wet. <coughs> so we're just going to go down and we're going to deploy the Ember Shield here. Uh, watch the wire, David. Yep. Um, and we're just going to go down very slowly. We have 15 minutes, so there should be plenty of time to do it. And uh, we will let Dr. Guja go down and just drop this filter for us. Go ahead, buddy. I got it. So Dr. Guja is going down slowly. And, you know, listen, I think in single vessel runoff, Roman, it was a fantastic choice of yours. Let's see if the ambush shield crosses. Uh -huh. I hope it does. We didn't balloon that distal segment, as you remember. Yeah. We sent the twin it. pad. Hey, uh, a 2 5 hopefully should, should make it. I hope so. Let's Pretty see. small. So here comes the ambush shield down. So the ambush shield is obviously Dr. Puja is going very, very methodical. Obviously, yeah, not to push the, the wire back. The <coughs> system is very sloppy. The 241 is very thin. So it gets better. So here we very go. Quickly. And crossing like a beauty. A little bit further. I go even further. Lovely. A little further than that. Good. I like that right there. So hold on. We're just going to deploy the 24 two ambush shield at this level. And. There it is. Hold on. I'm just going to show you down. There's the Ember Shield. I'm going to Flora save that. This is Flora save, right? Right, yeah, sir? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Dr. Guja, if you can kindly bring that out. So Ember Shield is distal. Now we're going to go with our CSI. Now, can you talk a little bit about the bag, what we put in the bag, the Viper fluid, as they like to call it? Uh, 
you know, what's in that. We all know about the rotor fluid that we use. So, so what, what do we have in the bag? Uh, maybe Manu can tell us. So we have rotor glide then. Any sort of vasodilators or no? We have no one. vasodilators. So do we, we have any vasodilators in the bag? No, no vasodilators. So, so no. what? So, so actually, so, so they, they, uh, CSI actually has, has, uh, they've, they, I think they had a, a, a small, a small, for me it was, it was a, um, it was a, an ex vivo study, but showing that they, we actually, the way open, how this uh, actual device works, you actually don't need vasodilators. So all they really have is just the, like some form of a lipophilic solution, so just similar to the rotoglide that is, is used here and just some saline. Yep. So, so again, uh, you know, uh, we'll, we'll go over the uh, the burrs here. Uh, Karthik, do you want to go over the handles so everybody can see? I'm sure everybody's used CSI, but since I'm new, I'm learning here. You see, this is me. I I, I do one, then I see one, then I teach one. So, so, uh, so, Karthik, can you can you let me know? So, yeah, three three speeds mainly, um, but I don't know if the lowest one. I think the micro one has only one speed. Right? Or all three but this one has three speeds mainly you go normally you start with the lower speed oh. i mean if the, depending on the size of the vessel it's exactly like we do for the uh, <coughs> we do exactly like we do for rota you know um, you have a lock here now i mean rota used to be old but the new rotors we have like since last two years pretty much the same it has it actually you should say the rota is exactly like this yeah they're pretty mimicking each other, but this is again. Yes. The, and and the, this has glide assist. This, this has glide oh, assist. Oh, we have. Can, we have. A, thank you for coming. Appreciate it. Wonderful. You have. Uh, you have. You. You can always give um, the the wiper fluid uh, more flush it uh, with this button in the middle to uh, to flush it if you can. If you're doing long segment, long more long term kind of. Uh, um, uh, uh, orbital ethrectomy, right. I should say. Okay. So again. Uh, well, wonderful. So, so, so again, what we're going to do is again. I've always been a slow and steady kind of guy, so we're going to go slow and steady here. So I know I'm going to uh, uh, avoid the proximal. So the uh, the catheter is not here yet. So once the wire comes, we will take it. Okay. It's not. Yeah. <coughs> okay, it's locked. Unlock, huh? unlock it. Unlock it. Yeah, oh, this so is there's this ah. lever in the back that also has to be. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so it's, it's exactly as, it? as, it? as just like rotor. You got it. Yeah. Or it's exactly as, as like. Uh, do you have it? <laughs> okay, go. Can you show me the filter, David? Yes, sir. One second. Slow Thank down. You. Show me the filter. So, guys. Uh, Usually, I'm it's important gonna... to also make sure we we test it outside to make sure that that, that the machine is all is also working as. That was as already well. done. Yeah. That was good. already done by David. So now we're just gonna go down. It was done offline. Uh, so again, I'm just watching my filter. Hold on one second, Karthik. I want to step forward. Okay, David, switch with me. Go. No, stay there. Stay there for me. It's okay. Yeah, it's a one, two, five yeah, solid. We asked yeah, for we solid. asked for the solid. Yep. Yeah. Go. Mm -hmm. So we are now coming. Um, again, it doesn't matter to me. Just go. Just watch the filter. That's all I care about now. Yeah. See the guys the, at home. All you got to worry about is the filter and your wire, right? You don't want to move your filter because once the catheter gets down there, you're fine. So let's just make sure the filter doesn't move. The, 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 of the wire but I know. But the wire comes back, then the filter moves. Good. So what what I like to do is similar to the coronaries, like what Dr. Guji did. He ran it through the proximal. Now we're gonna walk it back to where I want to do the what I want where I want to do this. this well, first is unlocked so I want to unlock it I want to come back so I want to come back to where we want to start which is right about here now I'm gonna lock it remember this is the, the yeah. area where we yeah. want to do so we're gonna just run it slowly so we got the fluid going guys it's the lock lock well I like to spin it in the distal vessel it's nice all right ready let's go so so we're gonna start very slowly so very very slowly so very slow packing runs you know you don't want to come back with this right you always want to go forward Right? You can you can go back a little bit. You just can't do it like 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 rota. Yeah, like yep, exactly. Like, it's more like so we're gonna go, go very, very slowly slow. forward. Okay. I like to do like a 20 second run stop, and I'm gonna run the fluid now. Yeah, so you press the fluid button to to fluid through. Believe me, I have done this, but then I've gotten burned by it too. So you gotta be careful. Okay. Huh? Go no, go a little slower. Yeah. So, no. so a, a couple of caveats too about the actual device is that uh, the monitor slow. system that actually runs the thing has a 20 second timer on it. Yes. Now, if your runs are less than 20 seconds, it'll stop its count to get however many seconds, 15 seconds. 
once you begin your next run, it doesn't begin back at zero. It begins at 15 again. So if okay. you begin your run and you, you hear the, the beep go off, huh? it doesn't mean that you just did 20 seconds. Like that beep right you now was, 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 20 total, was, was 20 total seconds. So we're just going to make a quick turn here. It's a little eccentric lesion, so we're going to be a little careful. <clears throat> you, know, you know, right there. Yep, there we go. We're just going to go a little bit further in. Two little bends there. And then straight in, and that's all. That's all I really want to do here. That's fine. Okay, okay, a little bit of acceleration there. And then that's it. That's all. We're done. So we're done here. We're just gonna we're gonna fluid a little bit. No, no, no higher speed. I, I, I am not a high speed guy. See, I see, but for those of you, I have a Volkswagen Jetta at home, so I do yeah. not believe in high speed. A so, 1970 you know, Volkswagen Jetta parked next to your park, park, park next to your Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> now I know my I know my colleagues watching know that's not true. They know me. I mean, yeah, this you is know, a, I mean, I don't know what's up with PK Ari. today, but today he's reminding time and time again that he's old. He's getting old. Old. Uh, I old. don't know why he's uh, bringing up things so many times that he's old. Are you out? You're not out yet. No, it's funny Good because, uh, you know, I definitely don't want to go fast here. I mean, this is something that, in the, you know, it. we, we all don't want to go. So let's do a quick DSA. Hopefully <laughs> we have good news here. The filter, uh, so bets, filter full, filter not full. What do you guys think? I know the other not people full. are holding, not full. Not full. No, I think, I think packed. Full. Definitely not. Definitely. No flow. As we expected, beautiful result. Beautiful. Yeah. So CSI has opened and done a beautiful job for us, as we totally expected. And now we're going to check our filter off coronary. Please put it on coronary. Yep. So, guys, always check your filter on coronary, but we're going to balloon. Uh, now I'm going to ask our IVIS team, what's the uh, size of the, of, the, of, the, of the vessel for us? It pops like a 4.0, foreign change. So there's our filter not full. So we're going to balloon with the filter anyway. Give us a, what, what's, our, what's our PT? Almost what's our PT? Three. three. And then the pop is a four? Five oh. Okay. So guys, give a give me a three oh long um uh, 018 one uh, eight BD balloon. Three three oh long and I want like a three oh one twenty or one forty. It's a short one. It's a short one though. So I want to balloon the whole segment and then go with the five oh. So Raman now question. Final treatment uh, for Dr. Guja as well as you, for Karthik as well as you. Are we going to go ahead and do a stent? No stent. Obviously, how old is this gentleman, David? This, uh, he's he's uh, 80. He's Eight, so he's 80 years old. Not that that matters. I mean, we don't discriminate by age. Uh, question is, you know, I mean, any thoughts? Uh, it's rest pain, not CLI, no wound. I, I would stent it. It's, uh, yep. it's well, stand, stand, no, no, no. Which, stand which, which, which segment? Uh, I mean, which, I would uh, stand the TP there. trunk segment for sure. Well, let, because it's okay. calcified. Uh -huh. uh, because, and it's one vessel and it's a robust vessel. We're not going to come back to it. You don't want to recall, and we clearly know atherectomy and PTA for TBLs is what's the patency rate, so 78%. Yep. So I'm just saying he's an old guy, so I don't think uh, stenting the TP trunk segment is unusual. The popliteal, I. I have no problem. I think based on how that lesion behaves in the right way, we had the Proximo cap uh, going, uh, getting away with the uh, DCB. Thank you. Yeah. That's, that's, that's my I would part. I would uh, DCB the pop. Uh, I think you can uh, see how it looks after IVIS to make sure you feel comfortable right. stopping or just angiographic, either one really. Remember, this guy, does, he has breast pain, doesn't have any ulcers that, that need to be treated, and he has a... a Big DP mm -hmm. that is filled by by the actual uh, by this perineal uh, system. So if in the future he develops an ulcer, that DP would be a, a target. The AT also has a, a a good branch coming off it right to where we go. So I'll I probably we see. Stand, uh, we can stand excluding that DP segment. I think right where the AT takes off. That's I think. But there's uh, there's there's disease ab ab above it too. I mean, I, I, would, I totally I would, agree. I, would, I would, would would probably say I would DCB the pop, and I would DCB. probably do some form of like atherotomy or a prolonged balloon inflation of that TP trunk to the uh, 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 perineal. Careful. See, oh, yeah. so you, go, you gotta go slow, all right? See, so see how oversized yeah, that is. Yeah, I don't like the way that looks. So, so you can see here it's not fully expanding, and you got a really big expanse out segment. Yeah. God, God willing, we didn't perf. Uh, we'll take a look. Uh, so, what we're going to do is walk this back to here, and then decide. Yeah. So Let's that's see. what I was uh, saying, Raman. If you see the after the atherectomy picture, um, I just didn't like the uh, the way the the TP trunk is expanding. You see that exact segment where the bend is. 
Actually, I'm in defense of David. That was probably the calcium we were looking at. Yeah. No, David, yeah, yeah. David, David just gave me a smack. He's like, PK, you, you got to put on your glasses. And that definitely looks like my uh, my thing. So, so you know, I got to tell you that I, I agree with Raman. Two things here. I think we have an IVIS. We have to start using imaging to really guide us. And I think IVIS guided is going to really help us uh, to see whether we should stent or not stent. I mean, if we have single vessel runoff and we use drug, I think this is good. This is where I think absorb is going to make a big deal. I think obviously the the the, the life BTK study has shown in short lesions in the proximal tibials, uh, you know, that that this is going to make a big difference. So the beauty there is you can put a scaffold and watch the scaffold disappear and continue to have patency. Obviously, if we don't know, you know, the, the difference between that and Yukon and, and the other other trials is that obviously you're leaving it implantable in those trials, but here you're not. So it's obviously a big advantage not to leave it implantable. Now, it depends on how they come back at what price and all that other stuff and whether there's reimbursement, but clearly that's that's going to be an issue for us so now we're going to walk this balloon back and i'm going to take a picture we're going to we're going to we're going to have to figure out with an ibis what we're going to do dsm on dsa yeah no so, no, 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 no i don't no. think so yep so now we're going to do a little quick dsa here again it opened up but that's okay we'll just take a picture so <coughs> see that looks really really good see so so now you know like roman said this this guy does develop an ulcer it might be better not to stent this and then, you know, be maybe come back and get the AT. So let's do an IVIS now and decide. So I'm going to leave the filter down and then walk it back. Obviously, we have to do a Supera. We have to remove the filter, um, you know, and obviously Supera is probably best in class stent here uh, if, we need, if we need to do this. So I am going to go ahead and just remove this. Uh, and, and I want to go ahead and get the IVIS ready. It's an 0 4 though. You have an 018 IVIS, guys, or no? Yep. Because this is it's not an 014 wire, right? The, uh, yeah, the wait, Viper wait, wire? Can you just go back to uh, that, that, yeah? last, that yeah, last DSA no, we'll again? Sure, here you go, brother. Okay, yeah. then, then we're going we're gonna to go on we're gonna go on the IVIS here. Can you go C- minus for me, uh, David? The last, the last DSA. No, no, no. There is, no, no, no. Can you just show, C- show C- the, last, the last DSA again? Yep, here's the last DSA for you. Okay. What, what wire, is please? happening yeah. at uh-huh. 14? I think that's the uh, ostium of uh, your AT. Ready? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. remember, that's, that's where, that's where yeah, yeah. the wire kept the popping yeah. in. I think it uh-huh. is. We'll figure it out. So here we go now. So I've got my wire safe. And now we're going to go back in with the IVIS, and then now we're going to decide. I mean, I, I tend to ring be... Ring down, please. Ring down, guys. Oh, I'm so sorry. So get us ring, a ring get, down, please. Yes, ring down. Go. No, no, no. It didn't ring oh, ring down. down? It does it automatically. So go down. Yeah. There you go. Beautiful. Thank you. So now we're going to go distal. Okay, there we go. A little bit more. Wonderful. We're going to start our IVIS from here. Record, please. If we can put on the angiography simultaneously so we can see where exactly you can guys are. Can you show are. the angio as so well as the IVIS? There you go. Uh-huh. Okay. So that's the, the there's your distal with no, really no dissection. I'm okay with that. Good lumen. Keep coming. There's the ostium of the AT. That's the ostium of the AT, yep. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Really just a lot of plaque, no dissection. And no dissection, no dissection, no dissection. Pretty good case for DCB, boys. All right, give us a 40120 uh, DCB here, Medtronic. I'm just going to DCB this. That's a proximal dissection yep. cap. But let's DCB it. 40120. So I decided on DCB because, Roman, I don't want to stent the ostium of that PT. There's no dissection. I think, yeah, the, awesome. I think the CSI did a fantastic job. Uh, really much more, uh, uh, you know, how can you say, um, luminal gain than I expected in this particular case. For 40120. Yep. Yeah. And that too, I, I, I will say you only went at, at the 60,000 RPMs. I mean, I've, I probably would have gone, gone higher. <laughs> honestly, honestly, yeah. I, I, you know, I, I always believe less is more because you can always go back if you need to. Like right now, we're not happy. We go back to the CSI. We, yeah. We crack no, it's, up it's, the it's, a, it's a very, it's a very yeah. good, good result for the... Uh, yeah, I like it does also show that some um, some discretion and um, and ease with this device actually mm-hmm. also works. Okay,
It's okay. <coughs> we're done with the Ivis anyway. So, so we're done with the Ivis now. Um, so we're just going to go ahead with this and then decide here. So obviously, the, the, again, we're working on the filter still because, look, there's always a chance you can always embolize. And if the embo shield is there, at least you have some filter protection. Obviously, I didn't wear my glasses this morning. Okay, I see it now. All right, so we're going to go in. I'm actually going to be a little aggressive uh, and go into the just the proximal TCC <laughs> with this balloon. Uh-huh, go ahead, brother. So this is the O1A balloon. Uh, we decided to go with an impact balloon here. So the impact balloon is there. Um, you know, we obviously, lot, the balloons um, all have different data. Imba impact has data out to five years with reduction of TLR, so we tend to use that. Not that you can compare different trials, but I think right there is pretty good. So we're just going to come forward, go see, uh, give us a little die now. Mm -hmm. Let's check where we are. A little die. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Just going to check to see that we're not too deep in the PT. All right. Maybe a little bit. No, I like that. I like that. Right there. Go up. So we're going to go up here. Go to nominal. Okay. Slow. Slow. Yep, going Always slow. slow. Going slowly. Uh-huh. At four. Uh-huh. It's okay. At six. Six. Slow, slow, slow. Eight. Okay. Eight. Ten. That's the pain. Ten. 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 Okay, that's ten atmospheres. We're going to leave it up at ten for three minutes. So Damien's running to get the coverage stand just in case, you know. And, uh, no, I'm kidding. I, th I think we should be okay. So, so you know, we we, got, hey, we, we, we came back proximally enough, right? Just, just. Oh so yeah. Can, yeah, 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 we did. Right? We, did. Just, we yeah. came back proximally enough. Much, much more than this. Okay. okay. So we're good there. And if we need to stand it, we will. But I, I think like right here, we have good flow. I think we just leave it, get him out of rest pain, and let the balloon do its work. As you know, in our in our study, which we quoted a lot, uh, the this section uh, was not a predictor of of restenosis uh, of of this particular balloon. Are they done over there? So, okay, cat was started or no? Uh, so they're having difficulty. So PK and Raman, I I have a question. Oh, like good. if you see the pro popliteal okay, segment, go radio. Go radio. Um, there is still a lot of plaque in the popliteal, yeah. especially right where we the proximal cap is. Okay. There's yeah. still a lot of How plaque, and the lumen is there? really really small still. I don't know if I, photo right will right be right enough to right get right. a luminal gain on that popliteal, which looks almost like five six five five now. Um, just that one segment of the cap. Because I know we didn't we didn't really attract my it's, it's a four five vessel. I think four oh. Can we show good. show the pop? No, no. With the, they're still looking at the pop. Can you go to the end of the run, please? We're at one minute. Can you uh -huh. get the iris <clears throat> to the end of the run, please? I mean, you also got to think about the syndrome, putting a stent in the pop. I mean, I don't know. I mean, to me, I've got good flow. I mean, I'm going to leave him. I'm going to follow this guy closely. If I need to come no, back, I'm only I thinking back. about reintervention rates for him. That's because he's 80 years old. I, I, I think he, with this much, yeah. with this kind of flow, I think he's going to be yeah. fine. I, I, I think guess, I've, I mean, I've, I don't know if, if, if like the jury is out about whether or not DCB supera or DCB minus with this guy, one vessel runoff is can you really have any real data to suggest that the restenosis rates are lower or higher no, in the, one versus the failure versus of the dcb other. the main the main <coughs> yeah, pk can correct me but the main um, thing about failure of dcb was recoil of the vessel right yeah exactly that, that's so, the reason so i think the so, so, so if we see this yeah so but yeah so see, there is so much recoil already in that, see, look at that. it's not recoil it's plaque no, no no i'm just saying there's so much plaque and we didn't attractomize it right Oh. I mean, I mean, look, I mean, look. In all the DCB studies, if you look at impact long, impact yeah, long, there's very little atherectomy, atherectomy in any of them. No, there was no atherectomy. Yeah. yeah, there was no atherectomy. So you know, DCBs just work. I mean, to me, yeah. I think you're. I think Karthik is right. If there's significant recoil, then you can think about stenting. But again, you're talking yeah, about an 80-year-old right. guy yeah, who has agree. rest pain, agree. and you know, I just think you know, we just got to work the through. Let's decide. Not that I'm against stenting. I love Supera, but. Three it's, a, it's a three minutes now, so we'll uh, the proof's in the pudding. If we have to go back with another Ivis, we will. We're just going to walk this out now. Yeah. Okay. I think this will also be a good time to, to talk about the live BTK study. You know, this because uh, this is uh, really is. I mean, there hasn't been a positive trial below the knee for supporting Limus. You know, and you know, in, in in the field. I mean, this is this is a it, it's a big deal. You know, this is a 
You know, there's been yep. we, we finally right. have like randomized data to show yep. superiority to what the therapy was for the past 25 years. Yep. You know, uh, I it's, agree. Actually, it's it's a well, drug based te te technology. Yep. Yes, we have like the other other treatment modalities, IVL, atherotomy, so on and so forth. But a drug coded tech, tech, uh, technology, I think this is uh, it's really it's a big big game changer here. Oh, absolutely. There's no question. I mean, that's pretty good to me. I mean, we can do an yeah. IBIS, but I mean, I don't want to knock no, off the collateral. I think, it's okay. I think we have that collateral. Yeah, the so let's let's capture the filter here. Anyways. Yeah, let's capture the filter and then pull yeah. out the wire and take a look. This is kind of one of those one of those pictures where it's like it, it looks so good that you just don't want to see it anymore. Yeah, exactly. We're <laughs> <laughs> take one more picture of this. <laughs> so the filter is not. <clears throat> uh, it's a little slow <clears throat> flow there, but I think it's not full, so we'll be okay. Oh. Yeah, we'll get it out with this. Yeah, and then we'll just lose wire. It's okay. I think we're going to capture this, and then we're going to take a picture, and then we're done. So, so yeah, Raman, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, the life. I mean, it was clearly, clearly superior to PTA. Yeah. I mean, there was absolutely no question. I mean, um, and I think that we'll we'll definitely go over this at the next uh, our our next uh, what is it called live case. We'll go over the data. Uh, but I mean, to me, you know, being part of the trial, our team was a part of the trial, which is wonderful. And I think I think that the results have just been spectacular. We're waiting for that to get get on our shelf, so we can start demonstrating and using the the device and figuring out how to use the device. I don't want to push this. On. It's little resistance. Little I can't resistance. Pull the filter back. Okay, pull the filter back here. So we're going to pull the filter back. There's some calcium there. Uh huh. So, or is that is it just the wire not allowing us to capture yeah, I it? Think it's just... No, it is. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. Very nice. Yep. Pull the whole thing out now. Yep. You can keep the wire there if you want. Yeah, I don't think you're going to need it. I think we'll be fine. So now we're just going to give some <coughs> uh, nitro. Uh, this is nitride. That's fine. I pride, and this is 100 minu. 200 is fine. Oh, actually, we let's give him 100. Oh, 50 mics per cc, so give him one cc. Mm -hmm. Actually, give him five cc's there. Yeah, yeah. I thank you. I did. See, Karthik understands me because <laughs> he knows when I say one cc, I mean five cc's, and it's terrible. I got it. So he's got it. So, all right, so it's a great case. We were able to demonstrate this, and so we just flushed it. So, hopefully. Like Raman said, not too many views, you know, and I'm joking. We will just make sure that we're good here. Uh -uh. Okay. Obviously moving in there. Something distal there, probably a little spasm from the catheter coming out. I think out. there's calcium from the beginning also there. No, not over there. Was it over there? I think Maybe. Was. Let's see. We'll take a look. Yeah. We'll take a look in a second. Okay. Okay, everything uh, is frozen. Says unlock to the geometry to enable. Unlock geometry to enable movements. Okay. Okay, can we, uh, no, it's not working? It's working now? Okay. Thank you, Rick. See, th that's why you need you need Ray. I mean, you need uh, Ray here for sure, because Ray would be like, "PK, what are you doing? He's moving his legs now, doing the dance. Is, don't is, move! Is don't Ray move!" Is Ray allowed to take days off? I don't know. You know, today is a very special day for Ray, so didn't want to yeah. say anything. So we said, "Okay, let's leave it." So there's a beautiful flow. Gonna do it again. So because... if he was not home today, he would probably be sleeping outside. His exactly. House. So you can see here. There's our AT PT with the excellent arch. Again, he moved. And we'll just take a better picture of the distal uh, area here that we were a little concerned about, but I'm not going to do anything because we will go look at the old angio because we didn't do anything in that area. So, okay, my friend. Now, Raman, I'm doing what you told me not to do. Take an extra view. Don't, please don't it, move, I sir. It, I got it. It's always the, the reason. There you go. Look at that. There's our dissection. I'm going to leave no, but, it, man. But, yeah, I mean, because you, you rotate it uh, around it, I, th I think it looks looks beautiful. And I'm telling you, that collateral is so important <laughs> for him, I don't want to touch it. Yeah, So, So we're, we're, we're done here. And so as far as anticoagulation, anything you guys would do different? Super cool. Uh, if he can tolerate it, he would be an Aspen Zeralta for me. Okay, how about you, Karthik? Um, yeah, Aspen Plavix, that's it. <clears throat> no Zeralta? And I would not get it. Okay, because of the age? Okay. Yeah. 
And uh, and for me and um, and David probably aspirin Plavix and reason is for the age for the Zeralto. So we're going to come out very carefully with the Supercore wire and the Iliac. So so Robin, maybe you could let them know that our our next live case will be postponed to December first, uh, because and at that time we'll talk about the live VTK. So we, you know go over that. So I want to thank Minu. I want to thank Mark. Obviously Dr. Guja and and David and as, as well as you Robin. For uh, for you'll make some nice comments and we'll be done today. So we'll see you guys. So thank you, thanks, Damien. All done. All right, everyone. Well, we want to thank you again to for joining us today from Mount Sinai. Uh, seeing this excellent blown knee case using Beautiful. all of our complex devices and thank all of our adjunctive therapies, and yeah. we look forward to seeing you uh, next month oh, that's uh, on December sixth. And uh, we hope you have very uh, happy and healthy uh, Thanksgiving, and we'll see you in December.